Now, once you've created your own format styles, they're normally only available in the current document you're working on. That means if I were to open a new document, they wouldn't be there. So what we're going to learn now is how I can save, organize, and manage all of these different format styles so that I can apply them to every new document I open and even to older documents I've already created. We're going to learn how to do that now in the next section on organizing format styles. Now this is a document that our author, Mr. Paul Palmer, has created, and he's also created some of his own custom format styles. For example, this one that he's labeled subject. Now the problem is that these lovely little styles will only be available to this document. So in order to make them accessible for other documents, we can change them. So to do that, we can go up here to the styles menu, right click, and you can select from the menu the section called Modify. Click here, and a new Modify Style window appears. Now this is the window where you can change the different styles, for example, making it bold or underlining. But what's interesting for us is down here at the bottom of the window. You can see we have selected only this document. And what we want to do is click here instead, New Documents Based on this Template. What that means is this style will not only be available for this particular document, but we can also use it whenever we're creating any new document. So let's click OK. And now we'd like to do the same thing for his other two styles. So Signature, right click, Modify, and down at the bottom we click on New Documents based on this template. All right, last one, right click, Modify, New Documents. OK. Let's try opening an old document, that is one that we've already created previously. So we'll go to File, Open, and this time select Power of Attorney Template. Now this document is something that Mr. Paulson already created. It's sort of a template or a basis for all of these Power of Attorney forms. As you can see, there's not really any special kind of formatting. It's pretty standard. Now, if he wants to make this power of attorney for Mr. Thomas Murphy have the same formatting as the one in the other document, he can go up to his styles menu, click on this little arrow to expand the styles menu, and down at the very bottom, we have a button called Manage Styles. Click on Manage Styles, and then click here on Import Export. And now we're in our organizer window. So here you can see on the left, these are all of the styles that are available to us in our Power of Attorney template document. So you can have a look here, and we don't really see the ones that we're looking for. If you look over here on the right, these are all the settings that are available in a normal document. Here you can see normal point dot M global template. So these are the settings that we have selected to apply to all new documents. So just like we saw earlier, you go to File, New, and when you open a new document, this is the stuff that you're going to see. Now what we want to do is move these over here so that all of these styles will also be available to us in our Power of Attorney template. So let's click here on Accent, and we'd like to move Accent over to this document. So click on Copy, and now Accent appears in this menu as well. Let's do that for our other two. Signature 1, copy it over, and Subject, copy. So now you can see these are listed here as well. So when you're done with all this organization, you can hit Close. And now we are back in our document, Power of Attorney Template, and here we see Accent, Signature, and Subject, exactly the three styles that we are missing from before.